This is a Sonar Tracks tutorial teaching you the basics of importing a side scan sonar recording and generating map images for import to GIS or viewing with Google Earth Pro, the desktop version. We start by importing a specific time interval, or clip, from a sonar recording. After selecting the desired clip, we also select the desired channels for import. If the sonar was tracking the bottom well, we can also do slant range, correct the data during import, by turning on that option. When done importing, we open the Sonar Tracks viewer. We scroll to the right, to locate a sand channel, between two patches of coral. The mouse cursor can be used to click and drag horizontally, to measure distances along track. The absolute and differential values are shown in the status area below the viewer. We can also click and drag vertically to measure differential range values, in this case, the size of a rock resting on the seabed. The viewer can also be used to define clips and targets. Clips are essentially named time intervals from the recording, while targets are points of interest at a specific range identified in the sonar data from a certain sonar channel. In this case, we will define a clip for the sand channel between two coral patches. We identify the start and end of the clip and give the clip the name sand channel and append it to the list of clips. We carried out the slant range correction during import, so before generating images, let's check that the water column was removed from the corrected data. We now close the viewer and open the Mosaic Creation dialog to generate images. In this case, we want to focus on the sand channel, since it might be a suitable location for a hypothetical research project. We select to generate images only from the sand channel clip using default settings. When done, we open the resulting KML file with Google Earth Pro, the desktop version. As we can see in Google Earth, the generated images shows the sandy channel, surrounded by coral reef on both ends. We zoom in to get a closer view. By using the transparency slider, we see that the sonar data match well with Google Earth imagery. There are blue outlines for each image tile. By clicking within each polygon, we can view detailed information about that particular region, such as range of depth, distance along track, etc. Thank you for watching this introductory Sonar Tracks video.